Precious Bible Promises, Part 3, Chapter 1, Continued. Subheading 5, Peace, Love and Unity. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Isaiah 2, 4 Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them, as thou hast loved me. John 17, 20-23 The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, and the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockroach den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Isaiah 11, 6 to 9 and 13. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills by righteousness. In his days shall the righteous flourish, and abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. Psalm 72, 3 and 7. From Christ, the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Ephesians 4, 16. Subheading 6. Submission and Destruction of the Enemies of the Church In that day, the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, serpent even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Isaiah 27, 1 the Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. Psalm 110, 2, 5 and 6. When the enemies shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Isaiah fifty nine nineteen. He shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Isaiah eleven four. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contend with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. Isaiah 41, 11 and 12. See verses 15 and 16. 
Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Saviour and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Isaiah 49, 24-26 the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despised thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah sixty, fourteen. The destruction of Antichrist, Babylon, etc. Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. 2 Thessalonians 2 8. See Daniel 7 24 to 26. If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out with mixture into the cup of his indignation. Revelation 14, 9 and 10. For thus saith the Lord God, When I shall make thee a desolate city, like the cities that are not inhabited, when I shall bring up the deep upon thee, and great waters shall cover thee, I will make thee a terror, and thou shalt be no more. Though thou be sought for, yet shalt thou never be found again, saith the Lord God. Ezekiel twenty six nineteen and 21 Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Revelation 18.2 See to the end of the chapter. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone. Revelation 19, 19 and 20. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, together to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city and fire came down from god out of heaven and devoured them revelation 20 7 to 9 see ezekiel 38 and 39 Subheading 7, <clears throat> Favour and Submission of Kings to the Kingdom of Christ. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The kings shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them, they shall see. And that which they had not heard, shall they consider. Isaiah fifty-two, fifteen. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship, 
because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Isaiah 49, 7 and 23 And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and thy kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favour have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Saviour and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Isaiah 63, 10, 11 and 16 Subheading 8. The Security, Tranquility and Prosperity of the Church The Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Isaiah 51, 3 Look upon Zion, the city of our solemnities. Thine eyes shall see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation, a tabernacle that shall not be taken down. Not one of the stakes thereof shall ever be removed, neither shall any of the cords thereof be broken. But there the glorious Lord will be unto us a place of broad rivers and streams, wherein shall go no galley with oars, neither shall gallant ships pass thereby. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king. He will save us. Isaiah 33, 20 to 22. Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew sixteen eighteen. In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Isaiah 54, 14, 15 and 17 Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad with her, all ye that love her, Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, Ye shall be borne upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. Isaiah 66, 10-12 See verses 13-14 to 14. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. Jeremiah 33, 16 In that day sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine, I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, 
lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Isaiah 27, 2 and 3 And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Daniel seven twenty seven. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favour her, yea, the set time is come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones, and favour the dust thereof. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. Psalm 102, 13, 14 and 16 And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, and upon her assemblies, a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defence, and there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat, and for a place of refuge, and for a covert from storm and from rain. Isaiah 4, 5 and 6 Be ye glad and rejoice for ever in that which I create. For, behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Isaiah 65, 18 and 19 Subheading 9 The Perpetual Continuance of the Church for as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. Isaiah sixty six twenty two. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me for ever. Thus saith the Lord, If heaven above can be measured, and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 31, 35 to 37. See Jeremiah 30, 20 to 22, and 25 and 26. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Matthew 28, 20. He shall reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Luke 1, 33. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Daniel 7, 14 The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign for ever and ever. Revelation eleven fifteen. In the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand for ever. Daniel 2, 44 As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and for ever. Isaiah fifty nine twenty one. Subheading 10 
the conversion and restoration of the Jews. And men shall dwell in it, that is, all the land, and there shall be no more utter destruction, but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. Zechariah 14.11 See the whole chapter. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth, and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Then thou shalt remember thy ways, and be ashamed, when thou shalt receive thy sisters, thine elder and thy younger, Sodom and Samaria. Verse 55. And I will give them unto thee for daughters, but not by thy covenant. Ezekiel 16.60 60 and 61. See also verses 62 and 63. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together, and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Hosea 1, 10 and 11 And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them as at the first. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me and I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and an honour before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. In those days, and at that time, I will cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith she shall be called, the Lord our Righteousness. Considerest thou not what this people have spoken, saying, the two families which the Lord hath chosen, he hath even cast them off. Thus they have despised my people, that they should be no more a nation before them. Thus saith the Lord, If my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them. Jeremiah 33, 7 to 9, 15, 60, and verses 24 to 26. To the same purpose, see the whole chapter. See also chapter 50, verse 4, 5, 19, and 20. I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Bozra, as the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. The breaker is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it, and their king shall pass before them and the Lord on the head of them. Micah 2.12 and 13 I will multiply upon you mountains of Israel, man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit, and I will settle you after your old estates, and will do better unto you than at your beginnings, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all the countries, and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, 
and ye shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. In the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the wastes shall be builded. Ezekiel 36, 11, 24 to 26 and 33. See the whole chapter, also chapter 37. Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Luke 21, 24. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children, and their children's children for ever, and my servant David shall be their prince for ever. Ezekiel 37.25 I will bring you out from the people, and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered, with a mighty hand, and with an outstretched arm, and with fury poured out, and I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there I will plead with you face to face, and I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant, and I will purge out, purge out from among you the rebels, and them that transgress against me, in mine holy mountain, in the mountain of the height of Israel, saith the Lord God. There shall all the house of Israel, all of them in the land, serve me. There will I accept them, and there will I require your offerings, and the first fruits of your oblations, with all your holy things. Ezekiel 20, 34, 35, 37, 38 and 40. See also verses 41 and 44. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. Jeremiah 34, sorry, Jeremiah 32, 41. See from verse 37 to the end. And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd, and I the Lord will be their God, and my servant David a prince among them. I the Lord have spoken it, and they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beast of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid, and I will raise up for them a plant of renown. Ezekiel 34.23 See all of verse 34 and from verse 22 to the end of the chapter. Behold, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak comfortably unto her and I will give her vineyards from thence and the valley of Achor for a door of hope and she shall sing there as in the days of her youth and as in the day when she came up out of the land of Egypt, and I will betroth thee unto me for ever, yea, I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness, and in judgment, and in loving kindness, and in mercies. Hosea 2, 14, 15 and 19. See from verse 16 unto the end. Even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon the heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. 2 Corinthians 3.15 and 16 Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith the Lord. And the Lord shall inherit Judah his portion in the Holy Land, 
and shall choose Jerusalem again. Zechariah 2.10 and 12 Therefore will he give them up until the time that which she that she which travaileth hath brought forth, then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth, and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people, as a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. Thy graven images also will I cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the work of thine hands. Micah 5, 3, 4, 7 and 13. See the whole chapter, chapter 4, and chapter 7, 14. See also Zephaniah, Zephaniah 3, 9 to the end. Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and saviours shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Obadiah one seventeen and 21 The children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, and without teraphim. Afterwards shall the children of Israel return and seek the Lord their God and David their king, and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Hosea 3, 4 and 5. Chapter 3, 4 and verse 5. Behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. Judah shall dwell for ever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. See Joel 3. See all the book of Joel. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to place them, for I have mercy upon them, and they shall be as though I had not cast them off. For I am the Lord their God, and will hear them. I will whistle for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they have increased, and I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in far countries, and they shall live with their children and turn again. Zechariah 10, 6, 8 and 9. See the whole chapter. God hath not cast away his people which he foreknew. If the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in again. How much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, 
until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, There shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. And concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as to election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. See also verses 30 to 31. God, God hath concluded them all in unbelief, that he might have mercy upon all. O oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. See Romans chapter 11. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Again I will build thee, and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tablets, and shall go forth the dances of them that make merry. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations. Declare it in the isles afar off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him, and keep him as a shepherd doth his flock. There is hope in thine end, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the city shall be built to the Lord from the tower of Hananiel unto the gate of the corner. See Jeremiah chapter 31. In that day will I make the governors of Judah like an hearth of fire among the wood and like a torch of fire in a sheaf and they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me, whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him, as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that has in bitterness for his firstborn. See Zechariah chapter 12. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. I will plant them upon their land, and they shall be no more pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord thy God. Amos 9, 14 and 15. They shall serve the Lord their God and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. See Jeremiah 30, 9 and 10 and see to the end of the chapter. End of part three.